Welcome to Shaman. This custom-built trip design, 88-foot carbon fiber high-performance sloop was molded in 1997 by Green Marine in the UK and finished by Director Shipyards in Marmaronic, New York, with an interior design by Andrew Winch Associates. Simply stated, from the very beginning of her design concept, Sharman has always been a decade ahead of her time. In 1997, the low-profile pilot house adjoining the upper salon dining area and the lower salon entertaining area and galley was a cutting-edge ergonomic concept that has since become a mainstay of evolved interior yacht design. The carbon fiber composite technology of Sharman's hull and deck construction is still state-of-the-art 10 years later. The concept of building the 88-foot hull and deck with the best composite builder in Europe, then shipping the parts to direct a shipyard in New York for finishing was revolutionary in itself, bringing the best technicians to each aspect of the project. Her exterior profile is pleasing to the eye while providing separate comfortable and protected cockpits for entertaining amidships with steering and sail handling aft. She has an extremely efficient deck layout for handling her powerful sail plan and her exterior requires minimal maintenance. Only now are yacht designers catching up with the idea of Sharman's hydraulically retractable ballasted bulb keel which allows access to all ports of call while providing a tremendously powerful writing moment. Her power under sail is further enhanced by 7,500 pounds of fresh water ballast, movable to the windward side automatically by electric pumps. Down below, one is immediately transported from this high-performance thoroughbred on deck to the comfortable old-world ambiance of our Andrew Winch design interior. All interior woodwork is of raised and fielded varnished cherry, built on honeycomb cord panels to keep the yacht light and fast on the water, while fully elegant in decor down below. With her five separate staterooms, raised pilot house dining area, office and navigation station, panoramic visibility, and open arrangement with the lower salon and galley, Sharman is simply a great place to live on the water, in port or far at sea. The substance of Sharman has been well tested. She's cruised deep into the Southern Ocean to South Georgia Island and north above the Arctic Circle to Spitsbergen and beyond. She's exceptionally light and fast, regularly posting speeds above 20 knots. This is a yacht designed to explore the remote areas of the world with thoroughbred performance and in absolute comfort and safety. Starting aft on deck, the carbon fiber antenna mast supports all antennae aboard the yacht, including SATCOM and the gimbaled radar antenna, which can be adjusted to a level horizon at any angle of heel. The helm cockpit is immediately forward, from which all handling of working sails are managed, except for hoisting and lowering the mainsail from her carbon Park Avenue boom. A Lumar Hydraulic 77 three-speed winch handles the main sheet and the traveller is on the sheeting arch, well clear of both cockpits. Also on the aft side of the arch are six Brooks and Gatehouse 2020 displays for all performance functions. The blade, jib and reacher are hydraulically operated from a cockpit panel and the primary winches are Lumar Hydraulic 111 three-speed. Running backstays are led internally to their winches forward in the cockpit. Management of Sharman's powerful sail plan is indeed simple to the extreme, while harnessing a tremendous amount of wind power. All other hydraulic functions, including boom vang, outhaul, permanent backstay and keel up and down, are managed via the hydraulic panel forward and to port in the cockpit. The ballasted bulb drop keel can be adjusted from 2.3 metres to a maximum depth of 4 metres for ultimate performance and access to all ports. For navigation purposes, the Fruno radar display can be controlled from the cockpit as well. The cockpit has comfortable seating fully across the aft end with a secondary settee forward to port. For tropical climates, there's a full cockpit bimini and for inclement weather or cruising in high latitudes, there's also a full-width cockpit dodger. 
the mid-deck area creates a very comfortable sun and reading lounge. Lights embedded in the boom and traveller arch illuminate this area along with both cockpits. The centre entertaining cockpit is a comfortable and secure area with seating for up to eight around a centerline dining table. Deck prisms highlight natural lighting below and an abundance of light is provided to the cabins below by a good number of flush-mounted carbon fibre hatches by Green Marine. Both cockpits are included within Sharman's comprehensive entertainment system, which provides quality sound to both areas. Sharman's decks are to the greatest possible extent completely clear and unobstructed by sheets, tracks and sail handling equipment. When the keel is fully retracted, the upper end of the keel blade protrudes to deck level, just aft of the mast. For sail handling, there are four winches surrounding the base of the mast, two manual and two hydraulically operated. Lifting the large hatch above the anchor well gives an excellent demonstration of Sharman's remarkably light and strong construction. This deck is feather light when compared to similar yachts, which typically require hydraulic or pneumatic strut assistance to lift the deck hatch. The fully retractable stainless steel anchoring arm that pivots out from its stowed position below deck and locks firmly into place for anchor deployment and handling. When stowed, the foredeck is left fully clear of anchor gear. The carbon fibre reaching pole for Sharman's asymmetrical spinnakers is deployed on centerline at the bow and locked firmly into place below in the watertight forecastle locker. The locker, accessible from on deck or below, houses the retractable bow thruster and provides ample stowage for all running rigging and deck gear. The main companionway is at the forward end of the entertaining cockpit via automatically retractable hatch slides. Stepping below from the high performance design of Sharman's exterior, one enters a completely different world of old world craftsmanship raised and fielded panel bulkheads and cabinetry, and a relaxed, open layout engineered for practical comfort under way or at anchor. The detailing of this Andrew Winch interior is to the highest standard, with custom cherry handrails and stainless steel fittings and end caps, custom fixtures, detailed mouldings, and the blend of the carbon fibre structure on the overhead, which has beveled edges designed to blend with the cabinetry of the wood interior. Immediately to port of the companionway is the U-shaped dining table and settee, which is raised to a perfect line-of-sight level of visibility out to deck level and beyond, which provides fully 360 degrees of unobstructed visibility. The inlaid cherry dining table can expand to comfortably seat eight for dinner, or retract to entertain smaller and more informal groups. To starboard in the raised salon, we have the complete office area for the yacht, with comprehensive communication equipment, navigation equipment, and a computer-based shipboard monitoring and control program that manages and monitors all electrical and mechanical shipboard functions. This is yet another system aboard Sharman that remains at the cutting edge of technology, 10 years after her initial launch. Another great feature of the raised salon area is that when the companionway and aft-facing window are open, the adjoining entertaining cockpit connects fully to create a large, contiguous social area. This open area continues forward down three steps to the lower salon and galley, which have tremendous headroom below the forward-facing windows that further accentuates the feeling of openness. The starboard salon area, accented with bookshelves, comfortable seating and an elegantly inlaid coffee table, provides a comfortable area for entertaining, reading or media entertainment on the Apple flat screen just for it. The galley is an open arrangement to port with Corian countertops and a thwart ship's gimbling stove for it and an abundance of cabinet and locker stowage dishwasher with dish stowage above, trash compactor and microwave housed in the cabinetry. Formal serving ware is conveniently stored in the raised salon, in board of the settee. Farther forward to port is the crew lounge, which doubles as a casual dining area for all aboard. 
Immediately forward, there's a full wall of custom Gruner refrigeration with food stowage on retractable baskets, which can be used for refrigeration or freezer. This tremendous amount of chilled storage is one of the true enablers for Sharman's extended voyaging capabilities. The owner's stateroom aft is immediately forward of the helm cockpit, with a separate companionway to the cockpit for private owner access or for thoroughfare forward in rough seas. The stateroom has a king-size berth on centerline, full couch outboard to starboard with a large writing desk and office area immediately forward. There's ample stowage in drawers, lockers, cabinets and a hanging locker. There's an abundance of natural light and ventilation throughout the owner's suite via two large opening hatches, portholes to the cockpit and port lights in both sides of the hull. The ensuite owner's head is immediately forward to port with a full jacuzzi bathtub and shower. Corian vanity top and undermounted sink, well styled with custom stainless fixtures, beveled glass mirror and designer detailing. Forward to starboard is the guest and day head and a passage cabin, providing thoroughfare to the main salon. This cabin can be arranged either with a single lower berth or with a second berth above. The cabin has ample stowage and also houses the Miele washer-dryer and laundry area. There's a full wet locker for it. The crew cabin is across to port with a single lower berth and comfortable Pullman berth above. This cabin has a large desk on centerline, presently configured with an Apple computer and flat screen. Engine room access is at the forward end of the cabin through a well-insulated, watertight door. The dividing wall between the passage and crew cabins can be easily retracted to create a single large stateroom. This area can be separated from the pilot house by the sliding pocket door. Guest staterooms are forward of the galley, port and starboard. To starboard there's a double berth cabin with a writing desk forward, hanging locker, nightstand and ample stowage. Immediately forward is the ensuite head, which adjoins the shower compartment. Across to port is the second guest stateroom, with two single berths and private ensuite head adjoining the shower compartment. Both cabins have separate AC controls, fans and stereo. The forward bulkhead of the port stateroom provides access through a watertight door to the forecastle and chain locker stowage area forward, which is also accessed from deck level. In summation, Sharman lives up to her name. Combining magical racing yacht performance and intuitively simple sail handling with comfortable accommodations and elegant decor below decks. She is indeed the perfect yacht for voyaging the far reaches of the world in absolute comfort and safety.